Boys and girls, we're ready to begin, so let's start off with our body check. Are you ready? Yes. Begin. Flat on your pockets, legs crossed, hands in lap, lips together, eyes watching, ears listening. Our CGI song, are you ready? Here we go, our CGI song. Ready? Here we go. CGI, CGI. Solving problems and knowing why. CGI, CGI. Different ways, so watch me try. CGI, CGI. Solving problems and knowing why. Seven. Would you call on <coughs> students to give us some strategies we can use when solving a story problem? Nice and loud for us, please. Jada, open number line. Okay, I mean, Hannah, hundreds chart. Ivan, two to ones. Carol, draw a picture. Xavier, one hundred charts. Emma, when they blow tips. Isha, think in your head. Think in your head is an excellent one. Guadalupe, do your own way. Use your own way. I love that. Any others? Excellent. Well, today, I tell you what, Sally came up with a multi-step problem for you. Be good listeners, nice and loud for me. Clarice has ten cats. Hannah has nine cats. Carol has a hundred cats. Then Evan takes six. How many are left? Flashing your lights because you think it's easy. Hands back in your lap. Sally, I love the way you read it. One more time for us. Let's listen. Clarice has 10 cats. Hannah has 9 cats. Carol has 100 cats. Then Evan takes 6. How many are left? Oh, they still think it's easy. Sally, oh, that was a tricky one. We wrote our story today on our chart. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a CGI turn in just a minute. You're going to read and your partner is going to read the story. If you have extra time, tell them what strategy you're going to use to solve the problem. Ready? CGI turn. CGI turn. I know you're finished when your hand is on your head. All these students who are ready, hands down. Listen to Sally as she tells you your row. We have all the students that need to be here for our CGI, and I'm going to have um, Jeannie. Jeannie, would you join Jada? Because I, I, we have a student that is absent today. So I'm going to have Jeannie join Jada's group. Are you ready to call them back? Row four. Row one. Row three. And row two. Get out your CGI boxes. And begin.
away because of the commutative property. I like the way she goes back to check. <coughs> and then Carol has one hundred. So that means okay, nice and loud. And then Evan takes six. Six tens or six ones? Six ones. Two, three, four, five, six. 
and then the answer said, the question said, how many cats are left? And then I counted, and I counted from the hundreds chart first, hundred first. A hundred, hundred ten, hundred eleven, hundred twelve, hundred thirteen. Give her a hand, awesome. Excellent. Sally, I want you to look at students who are raising their hand. If they use the hundreds chart strategy, raise your hand. Well, Lupin, Brianna, that's all. If you use... Oh, oh, 11. Thank you. If you used the tens and ones strategy, tens and ones strategy. No one. If you did draw a picture strategy, Ivan, Emma, Xavier, Therese, Alexis, and Jean. And you. And you. And you. Okay. Sally, if you will come and show us on the place value house the standard form in the roof for 113. Standard form. Show us in written form what it would look like. And show us in expanded <coughs> form what it would look like. What does one in the hundreds really mean? Excellent. Now, Sally, I want you to do something else for us here. Would you please make an open number line for us, off to the side, <coughs> an open number line. Sally, if I'm going to be adding, do I start at the beginning or do I start at the end? The beginning. I'll start at the beginning. Which number should I start with first? A hundred. Why? Because that's the biggest number. Excellent. Please go ahead and put a hundred on the open number line. What are you going to add next? A 10. Why? Because that's the other biggest number. That's the next biggest number. I'm going to add a 10. Where does that put us? 110. 110. Now what am I going to add? Plus 9. Plus 9. Hannah's 9 cats. Where does that leave us? 110. 119. 119. Excellent. Now, I want you to make another open number line at the bottom. What happened in our story next after we had all those cats? I had to take six cats. How many cats are there? So if I'm at 119, <coughs> And I'm going to take some away. Should I start 119 here or here? If I'm going to take some away. Yeah. Start it right there then. Wait. 119. Uh-huh. Right 118. We'll go with like 119 at the bottom so that we know that that's where you're starting. Put your little dot there. There? Uh-huh. And put your 119. Now, how are you going to take his six away? How are you going to take his six away? 119, 118, 118, 118, <coughs> She took one away each time. And what's your answer? 113. One. She doesn't have to put the dots there, but she has to have the number there. So go ahead and make your six hops going backwards. Plus one. 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 Plus Alexis, say that again louder. You can just hop um, a big, uh, um, a 
a six because you already wrote the numbers. Excellent. Now listen, if I'm at 119 and I take away a six, where am I going to be at? I would have been at 113. Either way, it's the same answer. It's because 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6. Excellent. Excellent. And if you turn and face this way. And that is the end of our CGI lesson for today. And we're going to do a little bit more math in just a few minutes. So we'll get ready.